Welcome back to our channel. This week we're kind of doing a wrap up and a recap of everything we've been working on for the past two weeks. We had some rain and we've actually been dealing with the wood shortage. So we've yeah. got a lot of footage that we filmed mm -hmm. over the course of the two weeks. So we're gonna kind of just talk through it and tell you everything we've been working on. This week we're building the chicken run and finishing up the chicken coop. We've got our first two pieces of siding up. We've painted them white. We've got to add some battens, so it looks like board and batten. Kind of cheating a little bit. It's not true board and batten. And then we're going to erect this wall. And eventually we'll have a wall here and a wall here. And they'll go up to right about here. And then the whole thing will be fenced in with hardware cloth. And we're gonna have a solid roof because we get snow in the winter. We want the chickens to have the option to go outside if they want. Right now, Josh is building the cross supports for the wall. The fencing we're getting is four feet high, so he's going to make it four foot up the wall. And then we don't have to worry about trimming it. Over here, we've got the chickens hanging out. We've built this kind of makeshift run for them. It's really ugly, but they don't seem to mind. It's 96 degrees outside and they are very hot today. Poor little things. But they've got plenty of shade, plenty of water. Keep making a mess of their water. Got food. It's just really hot. First thing we did was figure out the dimensions of this space. We already had a concrete pad here, but it was broken from when we cut down a tree a few months ago. But that's okay, it's still gonna work because we used shims underneath the 4x4 and we've used liquid construction nails and Josh is gonna screw all the pieces together so it's really sturdy and strong. And to cover the gaps to prevent predators, we're gonna use a two by six on the exterior. And we're also gonna have hardware cloth that goes all the way down.
here at Lowe's. We didn't mean to match our masks, but we're here. Hopefully, hopefully you can hear us. And we're here to get fencing for our chicken run because we're almost finished with the walls. So when we get back, we'll show you what we've done. Just our luck, they don't have what we need, so tomorrow we're gonna go get it because here in Utah everything closes on Sunday, which is really frustrating, but it is what it is. In the last clip, you saw us building this wall to the chicken run, and it actually started raining the couple days after that, so we didn't want to take our vlog camera out and we just kind of built the rest of it, but we really love the way it turned out. Still not done painting. Have a little bit more to do on this side and the back of this door. But overall, we really like the way it turned out. We've got this hardware mesh on here temporarily, but we're actually gonna start building the barn next and this will become a solid wall. So we're gonna take that mesh off. But we want to get the chickens in there and let them start enjoying the space before we built the other piece that's going to go up against it. So one of the things that we did last week was we wrapped up filling the dumpster. It would, would actually have been the second dumpster that we had, but there was just like tons of garbage and stuff behind me here, and it was just straight chaos, and we were just tired of looking at it. And one of the things we want to put here is our Airstream, and we had to clear out all that trash first before we can get it going. Plus it doesn't, it's not very nice to look at. Update on the trash, got the majority of it in the dumpster. We still have this mountain of rocks that we have to figure out what to do with. These were actually from our front yard. <laughs> These are from our front yard and our side yard. We didn't want them there. Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. We managed to get everything all loaded up. We were shocked that we are actually able to fill this thing as, as full as it is. I didn't think we had that much stuff. And as we make our way back this way, all of our trash that was here is now gone. So this is the wood that we've purchased so far for our, our barn structure that's gonna be going in next. These long pressure treated posts here are only 12 feet long and they're gonna be running horizontally across the pad this way. And we were originally gonna be running 16 foot pressure treated boards lengthwise down the concrete pad but due to the wood shortage that Lowe's and Home Depot seem to be experiencing we weren't able to get those so I'm gonna have to break it up into two eight foot sections so instead of six 16 foot pressure treated posts now I have 12 eight foot pressure treated posts and we'll link those together with brackets so that they're nice and strong and those are gonna act as the foundation for the new structure Okay, so this is where we've left off. It's really hot here, so we're actually gonna go inside and take a break. Josh has begun leveling all of the four by fours. And after they're all leveled and raised up, we're gonna put the two by sixes across them. Well, actually before that, we have to bracket these together, but it's looking good so far. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit that like button, it really supports our channel. Make sure to subscribe so that you can catch all of our latest updates. We try to put a new video out at least once a week.